are ready for Super Orb Brothers with Mitch Flower Power. Take it away. How's it going, everyone? I am Mitch Flower Power, and I'm going to be doing Super Orb Bros, created by Orange Expo. Um, and here on my couch, we have... Hi, I'm... Gl oh, Grand... Oh, yeah, go ahead. Please. Oh, I'm Grand Pooh Bear. <laughs> yeah, and I'm I'm Glitch Cat Seven. Um, they named a global emote after me because I'm <laughs> so great at everything. Off to a great start. Um, yes. So this is what you would call um, a Kaizo game. Uh, it's pretty difficult. There's lots of new features. I'm gonna let G G uh, Glitch Cat get you guys into the the groove of everything that's happening. But I'm going to follow the Kaizo tradition for GDQ, and I'm gonna donate ten dollars for every death that happens. So I'll, I'm gonna uh, match him too. I'm gonna match him over there, yes. But I've been practicing a lot, so I'm gonna try really hard to not die at all. And maybe even try and go for that world record. That's mm. right. So this is but, uh, uh, Glitch Cat will he, Glitch Cat will do a little thing and he'll count me down and then we'll be good to go. So Glitch take yeah, it away. Well Glitch. this is Super Orb Brothers, and uh, first thing about this game, if you look at this and you say to yourself, hmm, regular Mario 3 didn't do that, you're right. This is not your grandfather's <laughs> Mario 3 at all. This has been just maxed out with some of the most incredible things. Um, there are so many custom changes, so many new things that you can do uh, in this game. We're going to see them all, and um, I'll try to explain them as we go on. Um, but right here at the start, we've got uh, Old Man Grimm uh, hanging out here, uh, flashing Look colors. That detail too. And uh, there's a little bit of lore involved. Uh, it seems Old Man Grimm <laughs> has uh, lost all his orbs, and uh, this, orbs. this has so much, Orb. so much custom stuff in it. So um, if you're ready, Mitch, we can we can explain it as we go on. Are you ready for the countdown? As we go. All right. I am ready. Give me that countdown on go. On go. Three, two, one, go. Wee. Hey. All right. Let's go. So. Trivia for Twitch chat, if you guys can guess who talks whenever I grab the orb at the end. That's right. That's I, I know the out. answer to this one. So moving into the first level, the first thing to note, uh, this is not like regular Mario 3. Uh, it's got the restart feature, and it's got a lot of custom changes. The first thing are these dotted line on-off blocks, and they are activated by question blocks. You saw Mitch up throw a shell there. That's not normal. And setting up for a uh, mid-air drop, you can get P-Speed, drop the shell below yourself, and get a bounce on it. You could not drop or up throw shells. Also, wall jumps, they exist now, and Mitch is using them very well. And this is the re-grab section. Uh, we call a uh, re-grab, you're tapping and untapping the button, but here you press up to get yourself a little bit of an air stall and widen the horizontal distance of a jump. Nice job, Mitch, getting over that double shell jump and uh, using all of the different things that we've learned now, the shell up throw and some wall kicks to make it out of this section. That was really good. Great first level. Yeah, I had to take that restart there. The, the start of this level has like so many question blocks and if you get off rhythm with the on-offs, you, you can't really pass, you so. Hit them all. Um, another thing that this game has too is multiple exits per level, um, which is something that Mario 3 didn't have. You can go back into levels and get another exit and those exits can Open up paths, uh, multiple paths. It's it's very fun, very exciting. Uh, and what's really cool about this is Orange Expo actually did all the coding for this as well. So a lot of the one things person. you're seeing here, yeah, one person. A lot of the things you're seeing here, like he literally invented himself, uh, <laughs> which is which is so awesome. Um, but also made this game like very very difficult, even for uh, such a god like Mitch Flower Power, just to start off because there's so many things that. Not only did we never do before in Mario 3, but just never even thought of doing before, you know? Yeah, and that's extra impressive given the fact that the the programming of original Mario 3 is mm -hmm. kind of maxing out the hardware limitations of the NES. So to add even more stuff, uh, getting into the first secret room now, <laughs> nice job. Not exactly how, is it, how I intended this to go, but we did it. We did it. Yeah. All right. Back to work. Yeah, moving <laughs> on. Level 2. First off, the secret exit 
right up here at the top. Uh, just like regular Mario 3, this is something that a lot of these fan games do really well, is recontextualize elements from the original game, like the secret door and the treasure chest that you would normally get a little item from. And you can actually see, uh, Mitch didn't move off the tile, but you can see on the map tile that it says one out of two to let you know how many exits you got. Those little splitting Goombas there will split into little smaller Goombas when you bounce on them. Uh, those are really fun. That's not quite how they were in regular Mario 3. And so here's something that is uh, Mitch can do in this. This is not a free strat. You can gain a small amount of height. That was really good. Gain a small amount of height by wall kicking like that. And if your inputs are really fast and really precise, you can make it up. Uh, you can scale a wall like that. Now, using this shell and bopping it up on the note block to get it over there to destroy those bricks. And then Mitch needs to stop the shell again and do a shell jump to get up there. And this part, that is not easy because those note blocks bounce on all sides. So Mitch could have... Yeah, all sides. Yeah, Mitch could have yeah. had to... And again... Right into the spikes. Yeah. That was the threat. And the, the, the note blocks bouncing on all sides, that's uh, also special. Everything's special in this game. This is. This is a very, very special game. It even has little special. indicators to show uh, Mitch where to go. And hey, wait oh a minute. Gosh, oh, my yes. <laughs> yeah, oh, that was one thing I was worried about. Yeah, that, that was that amazing. A really hard exit. Dropping right down All in. Right, I'm feeling good now. Into that one tile gap. But there are a few indicators here to let the player know what they want to do and when. You see the little star indicator that shows them when to kick the shell. And the little up uh, arrows indicate when to do some air stalls. Uh, nice job getting through those P-switches. Uh, cruising right now. Absolutely cruising right now. <laughs> Let's uh, go, baby. Yeah, and, and a lot of those indicators uh, were really, really important to this particular game because, again, this isn't things that we would ever even think to do. Um, you know, it's just it's just a lot of things that just... It, it's such a dynamic experience for a Mario 3 player to dive into this game um, that without the indicators, it definitely would have added a, an extreme amount of time and frustration to the players. And so shout out to Orange, Exp uh, Orange Expo for that, but... I mean, as you can see, the, it, the gameplay is just incredible. Um, and one thing, I love, one thing I love about this game, too, is the way he uses, like, circular, like, level design, where he kind of throws you into a circle. Yeah, that's a very cool uh, trick of level design, yeah. to, to keep you moving around in one space. Yeah, exactly. There's a really interesting part I want to mention here. There's a little bit of P-Speed management going on. Ooh, yikes. That was a really I great recovery, though. There. Uh, but when we get to that section again, <laughs> I tried. yeah, there's a little bit of P-Speed management, which Mitch is, of course, just absolutely amazing at and something that is used all over the place in uh, real Mario 3. And I like how it's being used here as well. So Mitch is going to want to preserve P-Speed as he's falling down this section by moving uh, in a sort of a left and right sort of way. And then this part, remember that question blocks, yeah, look out for that. Question blocks change the on-off blocks. So Mitch had to hit one block and then do a wall kick and hit the other block so that the floor wouldn't be pulled out from underneath him. These Kaizo games tend to have a couple of tricks here and there that you gotta remember about. <laughs> Wrong way. <laughs> These double shell jumps are really tricky, but you see them a lot. Uh, throwing one shell up and then getting the shell in the first one. And on this part, I really enjoy because this little air Very stall. Too. Yeah, that air stall right there <laughs> That's coming the up. That's the hardest jump. Yeah, that is yeah, the hardest that jump. Yeah, that jump is the hardest jump in the game, I feel like. There might be one other contender for tough jump, in my opinion, but that is a really difficult one. The air stall uh, stops you from falling. If you've maybe seen, like, New Super Mario Brothers or something, you just twirl in the air, and for the time that you're twirling, your downward momentum just stops. And so Mitch is doing a precise twirl right at the right moment and then preserving P-Speed through this section. So a lot of really well-timed inputs and uh, really, really great P-Speed management. If you like going around in a circle, too, this is a really great section. Having to get the mushroom yeah. out of the top there so that Mitch can damage boost through the thwomps and uh, keep wall stalling, uh, wall kicking, in order to stay alive in that area. Now, there's a little part here. Mitch is actually opting to not do the double shell jump here. They can be dangerous. You could break a shell or something. That was a wall clip jump. Nice, yeah, nice pixel jump yeah. right there. <laughs> the wall jump. That was the second wall clip I've seen tonight. <laughs> Orb. But with a little bit of tricky right, this movement. level's the hardest. Yeah. Uh, this would actually, I think we. this would be a good time for a few donations if you have any while we're getting through here. Great time for donations. I've got a metric ton of donations. Um, I'm going to drop one right here. We've got $20,000 from the Yeti. 
Oh my uh, goodness. The Yeti says, hey all, Yeti here. We've officially hit hey. $150,000 from AGDQ 2021 collection orders. Whee. Thank you so much for all of your orders. We couldn't do it without you. We're so hyped by this amazing last stretch of runs. We don't want it to end, so we're throwing everything we've got to make sure we unlock the Ocarina of Time bonus run. Quick question though, where did Lamp go? I love Lamp. <laughs> I love Lamp. Do you love Lamp? Do you love Lamp? Always, Do you really love always Lamp? Love lamp. I, am, I am saying I love Lamp because I saw the Lamp. Yeah. It came back in that last segment. It was really good. Have uh, you got time for more donations? Oh, yeah, yeah. This level sure. was the hardest. Yeah. We uh, we've got, uh, let's see, $100 from Guptina, who says, been waiting for Mitch's run all week. Let's go. <laughs> I'd like to point out. We've got $200 go from... Oh, go, no, sorry, no, go you go. $200 no, no, no. from Spider C, who says, Mitch and Edda are two of my favorite streamers, so I can't wait hard. to watch them make two of the last three runs of the marathon. Thank you, everyone, for a great GDQ. This is what I was worried about. Yeah, so that little... Uh, that this, I will say, this wall strat, like, it's very hard to get over the edge, as you see, like, Mitch is struggling here. It also really hurts your hands. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, well, that's, <laughs> that's just the easy way to do it. Just wall was, clip off. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, oh I mean, God. just make pixel perfect jumps. It's way easier to do it that way. That's what I've been trying was, to tell you, you know? like yeah. That is three. I'm sweating, man. That happened in practice a lot, and it just uh, it didn't uh. always work out that fast, so I'm very happy for yeah, that. Yeah, that is three frame perfect jumps. Uh, it, just to explain, in Mario 3, it's possible to get a pixel of Mario's foot stuck inside a wall or a block, and when that happens, the game uh, treats Mario as though <laughs> he's standing on a, a solid surface, and that can be done in real Mario 3 and here as well. This escort mission uh, in this level 2 is particularly tricky. Mitch needs to bring this shell along because he's going to need it to open a gate later. But first, he has to get through this line of note blocks that bounce and get this shell to escort. That was a little bit of a speed strat, nice. knocking it over there, and then having to hit the opposite side of the block where the turtle is walking. Also, watching out for those red spinning platforms, which can just grab you and throw you into the abyss. And Mitch setting up for another little shell section here. The same thing we already saw, except this time the shell is moving. And Mitch is going to have to escort it, bumping it on these blocks. But remember that question blocks act like on-off switches. So uh, the blocks below Mitch are going to be changing. And oh, nice job. And then using the, uh, oh, wait. Oh, yeah, you want Almost that. Almost lost the thing. Yeah, 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 you want yeah, that yeah. switch to be, you want yeah, that switch yeah. to be moved. <laughs> So we're going to get a meme walk here where I'm just going to hover in the air after I grab the orb and just walk into the sunset. Let's go. All right. Lovely. <laughs> Let it go. All right. We're, oh, that's, all right. Let's go. You got to feel good now. One of the yeah, best. It's all downhill from here, baby. This is one of my this one level of the best is, levels. Yeah, this is the best level. Yeah, this is <laughs> this so This is fun. the best level. I like this level the best. You know what? I'm actually going <laughs> to. What? What? Okay, hey, I can't $10, do that. All right, let's, $10 dollars to charity, you know what I mean? Yeah, Add it up. Let's try again. So this level is using, um, I call them zippy pipes, uh, but they are a type of pipe that you see in real Mario 3 again in the uh, World 7, in the pipe world, and some other places. Um, they move Mario around the screen, but don't actually uh, take him to a new area. And when that happens, the screen freezes. Uh, and that's what allows Mitch to set those shells at the beginning up. And now using again, those wall jumps to opt out of doing one of the shell jumps, it's a lot safer. And if you've got incredibly tight inputs like Mitch, uh, you can get it. This is not a free jump. I died on this so much when I first played this game. Got to jump really low. Nice work and get in there for the secret orb. Get in there, orbies. All right, let's try again. Yeah, same thing. And again, you're seeing those indicators yeah, this just cool, that tell the player uh, what to do where to kick and uh, sometimes where to jump. And that can be really helpful, especially in sections like this, like you said, where Pooh, like you're going around in a circle. You're yeah, around a circle, yeah. Love that. Uh, you see Orange Expo use that a lot. It is it is very cool. That that in particular is one of the cooler sections, I thought, in this game. And, and another thing, like you can definitely tell Orange Expo comes from like the school of Mario Maker, as most ROM hack creators, or fan game creators have now. Um, and it's just, it's really fun to see Orb. These, like, explosive shell levels and everything in Mario 3. Yeah, something wild about the fan games is that you can either focus on the traditional platforming or you can make it into something mm -hmm. really abstracted. Here, Mitch is going to be using slope speed. If you are sliding down a slope and you neutral the D-pad, not pressing left or right, you will get a little bit more speed than normal. 
and uh, that's what allowed Mitch to cross those gaps. And now this part is really tough. Got to get, ooh, nice. A little bit of a P-speed run and hit all of these on-off blocks, uh, blocks to open and close the blocks below them so that the Thwomp doesn't hit. And now again, Mitch opting not to do the shell jump. Uh, this is honestly, this is really skillful because these inputs are really oh, tight. It hurts. Yeah, this hurts your thumb. It's, hurt, it's oh my cramping God. my hand. It's cramping my hand watching Mitch do this. Yeah, this is. I'm trying here. I, I'm, I don't you have know to the be. You have there. to be on point because you have. Yeah, you have to be perfect at the peak. He's actually spinning at the peak of his jump. And you have to be perfect off the wall. You can't lose any height on either of them, uh, or you just stay stagnant. So it, it's just, it oh. really hurts. <laughs> Yeah, that was My thumb muscles. that was really amazing. Like like Pooh said, there's two precise inputs going on: the jump off the wall and the twirl. This is oh yikes, ice level. Uh, we're gonna be breaking through using these uh, grab blocks to break through and then open the vine. But Mitch needs to hit both of those blocks with a grab block to clear the way so that the vine can grow. And then opening the gate. Yeah, I don't want to lie. This is definitely a level where I may have uh, said a few choice words to it um, <laughs> once or twice. Absolutely. Now we're introducing another new element. That's these fire blocks. When you hit them with fire or when the fire bros hit them, they will switch the blocks. And so Mitch has to be careful as they get through here. And now this jump right here is this my jump. pick for this the hardest jump. one in the game. You need P speed and nice two tile. Mitch needs. Oh, no! No! I can't believe no! that the wall rub. We'll take the death. We'll take I it. I was just about to say, now. Mitch needs the fire to get through because he's going to be using a little bit more. That looks like just a jump through a little section. That is really hard to do. You need a very uh, small input on the jump, and you need uh, P-Speed to get through the whole uh, horizontal distance. This might be a good time for some donations uh, while yeah. we're wrapping back up here. Sure, we've got a ton of them. We've got $1,000 from David Pittman, who just says... Orb, hmm. all caps. It's 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 weird. It's like people in the chat are saying it. Why are we saying orbs? So orb. Much? I love okay. it. Okay. <laughs> Fifty dollars from Kilroy, who says orb. We've got uh, twenty-five dollars from T Narg, who says can't wait to see Mitch kill it in Orb Brothers. So many orb-related comments. The kids love the orbs these days, you know. Um, we've got fifty dollars from Latich. Pooh, Glitch, and Mitch take my money. Well, we will. Hey, nice job. <laughs> so Mitch needs the damage boost at the end to run through that section. Orb! And uh, needs to shoot one fireball below on the path there because the fireball opened the gate. Oh, this level is pretty fun. Lots of stuff that we've seen before, but being used in even trickier contexts. Throwing the shells up to hit those on-off blocks and now uh, needing to kind of do another one of these really cool loop arounds freeing the yeah. shell and then jumping back down. I love the motion here. It's so neat. It's so like it, this uh, this one took me so long to kind of figure out everything you needed to do and then once you do it it looks so natural. It like looks so natural. You're just like, "Why did that take me so long?" Yeah, very cool. Mitch using a little bit of cheese there. Now, here's something. This yeah. is important. The checkpoint right here is the key. That's a custom thing. And in the normal Mario 3, if you were to grab an orb on spikes after defeating a Boom Boom, you would die, and it wouldn't count as collecting the orb. In this game, however, it does count as collecting the orb. So what Mitch is going to do here is die on purpose instead of leave the level. That's a time save because they respawn at the checkpoint, and that allows them to go backwards and access the uh, little hidden room here. Uh, they needed to open the Secret gate, exit. and then there's the hidden room. That took me an embarrassingly long <laughs> amount of time to find on my first playthrough. <laughs> oh, really? I, okay, so this is funny. I actually got caught. I got, like, soft-locked in that little spot, and then was just, like, messing around, talking to chat, and just hit up in that spot, and that's how I found it. Like, the very first time I got there, which is funny. Oh, my gosh. That was such a well-timed yeah. throw from Mitch, needing to throw that green shell forward at the right moment to hit it uh, down below. And now a little bit more P-Speed and going to be using this grab block to open the way again. Um, I think, yeah, this is another op place where Mitch is going to not do the shell jump. If you fail the shell jump, you could throw it into your head. You could uh, lose the shell and not even get there. Um, so if if you can do this strat, which Mitch is clearly capable, uh, you can just cl uh, climb that wall in that way. And then waiting for that shell to hit all the coin blocks uh, to make the path safer. Orb. God, this run is Ooh. great. I'm having so much fun. This is incredible. So, like, walk again, we have a 40-minute estimate. Um, I think it's pretty clear we're beating that. But what is the current world record, Mitch? 
36 minutes. 36 minutes? What? Uh, you know, I, I, I'm not a mathematician here. Uh, what I level are we on? Uh, this is, we are on the last level. This is the Oh, last. we're on the last level. Correct. That is correct. So, I mean, I, I don't know what you line. guys are talking, are, are seeing in chat right now. Um, but if, if you enjoy hype, this might be a moment of hype that you should get. Let's uh, go, baby. Because, I mean, I, I, I don't know about you, Glitch, and uh, confirm this for me, please, if you can, but... I think we might be seeing what the kids call a, a world record here yes. coming up. <laughs> this, this is world record in progress right now. Mitch, uh, this is an intended part of the We're level. Pace. Taking this little platform of victory. Uh, little secret thing, just like in real Mario 3, there's a couple little secret skips and whatnot. I thought I was cheating or I was going to get tricked when I found me this too. the first time. Yeah. I'm yes. like, there's no way this is going to actually take yes. me to the end. It's going to run me into a pit. But uh, Orange Expo, a kind maker, and getting into this uh, Bowser fight now with a checkpoint, too. Now, this isn't the normal Bowser. This is a little bit faster, and uh, the bottom part of the hitbox was fixed, so Mitch can't do the crouch strat, and Mitch is going to need to use fire because Bowser will not break through. Uh, also, Bowser's got Ooh. a few more attacks up yep. his sleeve there. Got a, got a uh, got a nifty one. Oh, you know. A little backup fire. Busting out some safety. All right. All right, time when we enter the door. And you're going to hear a very familiar voice as soon as I go through the door. So you're going to want to up the volume just a little bit. You guys are gonna, really going to like it. You guys are really going to like it. Boom. <laughs> that is the barb. Well, that, uh, that's a new world record, Mitch. And I, I was wondering... That is definitely... That's the best run I've ever done. That, that was absolutely okay. amazing. That is for sure world record. <laughs> I, you know, I was wondering... Yeah. 11 deaths. So, so old, old man Grimm, he lets you pet the dog here. Mitch, do you, is, is there any way that we could celebrate? Oh, yeah. Good dog. Yeah, yeah. Pet good the boy. dog. Hello, good there boy. There we go. Yeah. Oh, he's such a good boy. I hadn't an, intended on the run actually going this fast. Normally with the GDQ, um, it doesn't go this fast. But And today was actually my worst day for practices. The day's coming uh, forward. We're pretty good, and I was feeling really comfortable. And then today, I, you know, I wasn't really doing very well. And then <laughs> that was amazing. I just this saw the silly. time. I just saw the time. <laughs> 18, oh my god! Oh no! You know what? Yeah. Let's just, let's just go ahead and cut that baby in half. You know, let's just go ahead yeah. and cut that baby in half real quick. Um, I'm sorry. I think I just you know, I practiced a lot. Um, I just... Yeah, I mean, you, you cut world record in half. What do you what do you what do you want from the man? You know, like. Yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Mitch Flower Power, uh, the greatest Mario 3 player of all time. That's not even up for debate uh, right there. Uh, putting on another amazing show. Uh, I, my God, man. My Thank God. you guys so much. Thank you, Glitch Cat and Grand Pooh Bear, for coming through. Uh, they are <laughs> actually you. the only two people who have actually uh, pretty much finished a run. <laughs> pretty much. Um, I, I, have, I actually <laughs> have one level left, which is funny. I have a time on the leaderboard. I think I have the any percent record yeah. still. Yeah, oh. Pooh Bear's got 17 exits. Oh, I need to, I need, yeah, I, now, shot fired for me. Well, we got time to talk for just a second. Um, yeah, I just want to thank everyone in the community, and, and again, uh, Glitch Cat and Grand Pooh Bear, and especially Orange Expo. I mean, as you can say, see in these credits, he he definitely, um, he helped he me make amazing. one of, look at these two, we know who they are. <laughs> look at those. So Barb did get out of my room, and uh, Grand Pooh Bear did all of the orb uh, voices, so, um, yeah. Orange Expo really did Orange, a great job. It, yeah. And uh, I can't, like, outside of just how cool the game is, which you guys all saw, like, everything, like, new in that game was made by him uh, single-handedly. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. and also, on top of that, guys, just using SMB3's editor systems and the way SMB3 works, like, it is so frustrating because you want to do something and then it breaks every single time. You add, you add a new shell, you add a cloud, it breaks. And to, so to go through and add all this in and to make it all work is just such an incredible uh, testament to his skill and like how how much time this had to take him just blows my mind. I am- So much I, time, like, I was yeah. waiting so long. Yeah. And like he did it right too, he released teasers, right? If there's anyone out there who wants to know yeah. how to like kind of push, you know, their stuff, you know, bring it up, talk about it, create little trailers for YouTube, send it around. That's a great way to, we want to play them, right? Every, yeah. We all want to play everyone's games, so. Yeah. Chat is screaming, do it again. You've got I mean, to we have do time. it again. I mean, do we actually we have, have time? Should we yeah. do it again? I don't, I don't <laughs> know if, I don't know if they're gonna. Time, I mean, if you, 
Has there ever been two world records in one run at a GDQ? Has that ever happened? <laughs> no. I mean, I'm I, I not know. one. I don't wow. want to start again and then, like, get into a death warp in, like, the third <laughs> level, right? And then just die, like, 15 times. Yeah, go out on top, you know? But I'm, Yeah, yeah, this has been That great. would be um, pretty baller, I'm just saying. An any percent run real quick? I also just want to say heck cancer. I think everyone is doing a fantastic job coming together and, and we're all doing everything we can to, you know, just heck cancer, guys. I, we got this. I would absolutely like we're to killing echo, it. echo that statement. Yeah, also, mm -hmm. I really want to see uh, Glitch Showcase tonight. So let's go ahead and make that happen. Yeah, uh, yeah, I want to see that too for Ocarina of yeah. Time, right? Let's do yes, it. Let's do I it. I would like to see that. So. So this okay. is our new podcast. We have so much time that we're. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I think, I think, um, I think that's going to be it. Unless uh, Glitch Cat and Pooper have anything else that they'd like to say and touch up on. I just want to say, if I've impressed you, I mean, you have to follow me. That's all there is to it. You got to follow yep. me, right? If if I haven't impressed you, then don't follow me. That's just that's the the code of Twitch. And yep. uh, I'll be doing more runs of, you know. Or bros and SMB3 and you know all these other games. I'll be I'll be here for a while. So, and uh, yeah, you guys go. Well, thank you so much, uh, Mitch, for having me. I just really wanted to say a big special thanks to the uh, first the GDQ uh, staff, volunteers, the tech team, all the runners. Y'all are doing yes, just yes. absolutely amazing. Um, I, I I the the fight against cancer is um, very meaningful to me, especially this year. Um, so I'm I'm really really mm -hmm. grateful for the work that everyone's doing. And um, a big, big shout out to the Super Mario modding community. Uh, it has just mm. been absolutely amazing. And I'm truly, truly honored to be in the presence of such incredibly talented people, both in the space of Mario World, Mario 3, and uh, as we've seen in the marathon, uh, also like DKC2 Unveiled. The classic modding community mm -hmm. is really taking off and it's a very exciting time to be a part of it. So thank you all so much. There's literally too many people to name, but thank you all so much. Yeah, uh, I, I'd like chat to give one more round of applause to for Glitch Cat who just uh, slammed these last two games with commentary. It's amazing. Commentary. <laughs> yeah, today's was been a actually, big day. Absolutely loved it. And then, uh, and then uh, I would like to give a shout out. Uh, the Classic Tetris community is hurting today. Um, also, fellow classic gamers. So uh, just shout out to jo uh, Jonas and his family. Jonas. Um, and just you know, rip Jonas. Like we're all hurting yeah. today for that. So um, yeah, yeah. That's all I want to say. But Mitch, you're yep, God. Our our hearts go out to you guys, and just remember, you're not alone, right? We all yep. come together as a community, right? If you ever feel alone or anything, just reach out. We're all here. You matter.